Doing great, I tell you, it was odd. I could hear you, and I was saying good morning, good morning, and we were but talking. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> but hey, we're getting each other there, right? <laughs> we're on, we're connected now. It's a terrific Tuesday, a great day to be alive in the Lord. Oh, you know what, Pastor? No weapon form against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. How about that? Hey, that's it. He always gives us the victory. That's right. We got the victory. And here he is, the one and only Pastor Mark Barrows with Christ in Action. Take it away, Pastor. All right. V I C T O R Y. That's your forecast, my forecast, our forecast, because the good news about God's word in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57 says, thanks be unto God who always gives us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. And it goes on to encourage us. Therefore, be steadfast, be unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Well, friend, that is what uh, uh, the, the truth of God and the promises of God are given to us for to cause faith to arise in our hearts. Please know that whenever you and I, uh, God speaks to us, he is enlarging us. He is increasing our capacity uh, to give us something that he has already purposed, planned, and uh, intended and made available to and for us. See, it's so key. It's a powerful thing when we begin to understand how God works. Oftentimes we think that when a desire comes in our hearts and we begin to pray about it, we think we're initiating it ourselves. But the scriptures tell us in Philippians chapter two and verse 13, that it is God who works in us both to will and to do what pleases him. It's really an amazing thing. And that means then you know, that old thing that uh, we said, let the Lord have his way. Well, that turns out that's, that's, what, that's all we need to do is because as we allow him to have his way and his work in our lives, what, he, what does he do? He gives his desires to our heart. And as we embrace those desires and we begin to pray over them, he begins to empower us to do the very things that he put in our hearts. That gives us some insight to Psalms chapter 37, where it tells us to delight ourselves in the Lord and he will give us the desires of our heart. Now, you know, you can go to the end and say, well, he's going to give me everything that I want. Now, I believe that he will supply all our needs and he will enrich us and bless us with the desires of our heart. But I believe it begins with us delighting and taking great joy and pleasure in him. And as we do so, his desires are imparted into our hearts. Now, you don't have to worry about getting shortchanged because you know what he says in Jeremiah 29, verse 11? The thoughts I'm thinking to you, boys, you are good in every evil that to prosper you, do you no harm, to give you a future, a hope, and bring you to an expected end. You see, friend, you and I can delight ourselves in the Lord knowing that even in difficult moments, opportunities that seem too large for us, no matter what it is, we have the promise that he's given us the victory, that we are not fighting for victory, but we're living in a victory that has been declared. We're in a fixed fight. That's what the fight of faith is, is knowing that God has already fixed the fight. So we can fight on, Christian soldiers. We can fight on because we know the one who's in our corner and who's on our side. So we said, what would you have me to do, Pastor, today? Wherever you are and in whatever thing you are facing, whatever is in your heart, seek him first in his kingdom and righteousness. And he promises in Matthew chapter six that he will add all things to you. And you know what? When God's adding to you, man, the way he adds, you, he, he, he multiplies, he increases, he makes all grace abound toward you and I, such that we have all sufficiency in all things and abound to every good work. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach. 
to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day, knowing this, together, 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 y'all. We are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this terrific Tuesday, Faithful. You better say it, Pastor. You better say it. News that we all can use. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> he is a right now God. Yes, he is. <laughs> and an all time God. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm full of energy. <laughs> yes, indeed. Look out now. Look out. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We have the life and spirit of God in us. That's right. That's right. That was a powerful word this morning, too, by the way. Amen. Amen. Well, hey. As, as always, have a great day on purpose. All right. You do the same. <laughs> Bye-bye for now. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Well, hey, listen. We have these exceeding great and precious promises that the Apostle Peter calls them. In Second Peter chapter one, but they're they're more than promises. God is not a politician. It's, you know, it's so important that we don't see God as a man. You know, the writer who we believe to be Moses tells us in Numbers chapter twenty three and verse nineteen, God is not a man. He is not a man that he should lie, nor is he the son of man that he should repent. Whatever he says, <clears throat> he brings brings to pass. Whatever he speaks, he makes good on. And so, as we continue delving into this simple truth of this message, this, uh, this truth that we are calling the handshake, I pray that you're, you're seeing the simplicity of us just simply receiving, believing, receiving, believing, receiving, believing, receiving what God already has done and what he already has in mind for us. That's the handshake. He supplies all our needs according to his riches and glory. And we live by his supply. His branches abiding in the vine, the connected life. The connected life. That's what it's all about, y'all. All right, well, listen, we got to go on this Tuesday morning. It's terrific Tuesday. Remember this. Today and all week long, God loves himself some you. We do too. You matter to God and you matter to us. So go ahead. Have a terrific Tuesday. Have a terrific life, a terrific rest of your week. Be terrific. Go do some terrific things. Show some terrific things to the people around you. You're authorized by the one who made you and the one who made the day. He decided the ancient of days to bring this day together that he made with you that he made, that you might be his living expression of goodness in this day. All right. Bye-bye for now. We'll talk to you again real soon.